Okay, we're going to do a quick uh, illustration of how uh, Balloon Graphics Pro works. Uh, first of all, you need something uh, to go to. I typed in uh, Pixel Cartoons. You would put whoever you wanted to recreate in there. I'm just going to hit return or search. How does that work? All right, then uh, open up your images uh, on here. I'm just going to say, let's see, this one here. This one's already in squares, Bob. So anyhow, once you get this, go ahead and download it onto your desktop. Okay, so there's your uh, image right there. Uh, if, if we were going to do that, I picked something a little simpler because I want to get through this uh, video. So we've got this. That's how you download it. Uh, just drag it off on your desktop. Now I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to open up the balloon graphics um, and show you the structure. Uh, inside uh, there's real photographs of, of balloons. Uh, inside the design area, I put a bunch of designs in there, you probably get stuff that you don't really want. But anyhow, I'm going to name this, okay, design. Uh, D E S I. G N. Okay, design and it's design PNG. I want it to be design JPEG. Okay, so JPG. JPG. Now a Mac will let me change it. Are you sure you want me to do that? Yes. Okay. If if your PC won't allow you to do it, you may have to open it up in a photo uh, editing software and create a, a JPEG. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it right into this design folder. Okay, uh, right inside. All right. So now that will show up inside. I'm gonna open the program. Double click the program, and there it is. Okay, now inside here there's a camera button. Go ahead and click on that and there it shows up just like that. Okay, now here is the grid and the way the grid works, if you click on the grid and you can expand the grid, you can hide that so I can see it's very light, very light so you can see through it. Now let's say uh, you have a grid, this is for a six inch grid, this is for three inch. The more, the smaller the pixels, uh, the, the smaller the area. This is a 10 foot high by 11 foot long. I'm going to go ahead and click there. That's the entire grid there. Okay, so I'm going to go up and you can choose whatever grid you want. But I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click back on the uh, camera. Oh, excuse me. Um, and now we can, okay, we can, and I clicked on the grid uh, and the camera and this is a switch that turns the, the photo in the background off or on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of the picture and I, um, to, match, to match the circles on the grid. That's way too much. And I got five pixels or one pixel. I'm going to shrink it down a few. I think that's probably about it. We're going to go ahead and look at it now. And this is the way you would do it. I'm going to go ahead and take the red his nose is red. I'm just going to color uh, the three balloons on his nose, three wide and three uh, deep. So now I can adjust the uh, photo by clicking it this way or this way. I'm going to go ahead and adjust it this way and then up. Okay, I can tell right now that that photo is, ah, it looks just, just about right, but I'm not sure. Anyhow, I'm going to grab this uh, red, uh, or uh, what do you call that color, burgundy, and I'm going to go around the outside, just like that. And... I think 
think it gets one more. Okay, so I need to enlarge that photo just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. One, two, three. Enlarge it two more. Ah, I think that's it. And I'm going to move it up. where those red ones are in line and I'm going to move it over to where that red one is in the center. Whoop. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it. And there we go. Now I'm going to take this clear, this is a clear button here, and I'm going to take that off just to see, yeah, it needs to be there. So those two uh, burgundy, one, and two. Okay, then just click on the burgundy all the way around. This is this is going to take take some time, so I'm going to time lapse or I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to do all the burgundy, and then uh, I'll come right back. So hold on. I've colored all the uh, burgundy in. I'm going to go ahead and finish out the red. I'm going to go up here and grab the red, come here, finish his nose and his mouth. He's got some pink. It looks like a, I don't know, fuchsia or something. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, wild, wild berry and just click that like that. There you go. Now, the black, I'm going to come up here and pick some black and just do his eyes and the white I'm gonna go ahead and do the white I'm gonna pause it okay okay I have finished the the whites in the eyes I'm gonna pick an orange now I'm gonna show you a, a different tool here if you click this button tool click on it then go up and pick the orange uh, you got to be careful when coming across because you'll start to paint as you come across. So if you don't want that to happen, hold hold uh, the left uh, left click down, and that'll stop it from from coloring for a moment. But all I'm doing is rolling over this. I'm not clicking every time. Okay. But there's a lot of orange there. Now I'm holding down the left key again so I could cross over. And then you can just color just like this. And all I'm doing is rolling over. Okay, anytime I want to change, go across the nose, I hold that left key down, press it down, and then I can cross over. I would like it to work the other way, but I can't figure out a way to do it. Uh, we're working on all of these things, and uh, someday we'll get it right. <laughs> here we go. I'm coming down here like, whoop. See, now that that's the danger of using this tool, is it will color. Uh, ah, something you didn't ask it to. Okay. Be very careful. My mouse pad is not responding. Hold it down, move to the next place, and go across, and then like that. Now we'll have to <clears throat> we'll have to match the other side when we get to it. I realize I didn't put a a burgundy balloon here too. Now if you want a single uh, single thing um, color again you come over and click the color palette and now you can scroll across and it won't uh, hurt I'm gonna color in the burgundy and then I think there was a burgundy here yeah and one here I accidentally okay so I gotta finish the orange I'm just gonna go ahead and use click mode up here So you can see how quickly you can create something uh, either for your client or for yourself when you go out to do the job.
you know this will give you a, an exact rendition now I'm gonna go ahead and get the yellow and color those in it's nice to find uh, these already pixelated on the internet um, so anyhow I'm gonna go up I'm gonna click on the uh, bucket again click the black and I'm gonna come over and just scroll over and fill all this area in with balloons I have some kids in the background who are making noise. Anyhow, this is how. Did you tell them I was a little upset there? This is how quickly you can get things colored. Now, you have to be careful, and I'm going to hold my. Uh, left click down get that clear and a single you gotta come back up here as soon as you do it because you'll forget which one that was I already forgot which one it was up oh, there it is okay so then I'm gonna come back and single click that 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 and that okay then I'm gonna come back get my bucket tool yeah here All right, so the black is almost done. Now, I, I would single click these because it's just uh, too difficult to um, control that. So I'm going to just come back in and click like this. I mean, if you're good, if you got have a good mouse or if you're using a a pad that'd probably be the best but uh, anyhow okay now the background I, I really don't like white I, I like blue so I'm gonna go ahead and just color the background blue white not clicking. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it's just a matter of staying in the lines. I feel like I'm a kid coloring a coloring book. Whoops, I went too far. I have to remember that. Whoops. I'm going to uh, fix that while I can remember. I think that was there. Oh, no, it wasn't. I don't see black behind it. Let me clear that one. Ah, that's white. So that should be blue. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to re hit my black wand. You need to see this because if you didn't, you'd you know, you'd wonder how to do it. So anyhow, that's that. I'll go ahead and click the bucket again. Yeah. Oh, colored that black. I go ahead, I, I just open it up all the way and, and I don't try to match uh, the grids. I mean, you can, 
but I think it's too difficult. I can I can cut that later. Before I get too far here. I about halfway. I'll finish that up. Then I'm going back to find those spaces that I accidentally colored. Okay. Anyhow, you get the idea. Let's uh go here, clear. I think this was black. I don't know if that was black. Nope. This was one of these was black. There it is. That was that was black. Okay. This was black. That was black. The others were blue. Go back. And if you need to see what you have and have not done yet, sometimes the colors bleed through and you think you've got it colored, but it's not. You can go like this and find out just exactly what you've colored and what you haven't. Uh... If you're trying to do this on a drawing program or something, you'd have to grid this out every time. You'd have to, it would be so much work. And this changes the colors for you. You can just color them. And there you are. I'm going to go up and add one more row up here because that black hair touches the top. I don't like it. And I could add another row here if I wanted to. I think that's, well, yeah, we'll add a row so that there's, oh, I colored his ear uh, so that we get one past the ear. Analysis. Okay, so that's that. I got to come up here, hit the single again, take the burgundy, come over here and click it. Okay, so now if you own a Mac, you can Command Shift 4 and it gives you these crosshairs. See the crosshairs? I can grab it here in this corner and drag it down and snap it and it'll show up right on my desktop. So now you have the picture here. Okay, and that's the way the program works, and it's it's just really, really uh, simple to use, and uh, uh, I hope it helps you. Thanks, thanks for watching this video.